We are starting our day off heading into Gatlinburg, which is right next to Pigeon Forge. We're actually staying in Sevierville, which is next to Pigeon Forge. They're all close together. And you can see the traffic is crazy, just like yesterday. Every day it's like this. This is like pure tourist trap, but it's pretty cool. Uh, this is the entrance to the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Lots of bikers, the weather is great. And we're gonna go try and do two of the most popular things, try to fit it in. Not feeling so well, so we slept in a little bit later than I planned. It's already 10.30, so hopefully we can get these things done. We're gonna do the Roaring Fork motor tour, and also try to do Cade's Cove. And also, I did mention in another video, not sure what order I'm going to put it in, but uh, we went to that Greenbrier school and there was a hike to the Walker Sisters cabin, but when we got there it was a bit too late and we didn't want to be trapped in there. So we'll see if we have time to get there as well, but no guarantees to go there today. This is our last full day here in East Tennessee and then we will be moving westward. So see ya when we get to the park. We are here at the entrance of the Roaring Fork Motor Trail, and it's a great sightseeing uh, trail where you drive through and uh, you don't even have to get out. So it's great for people that want to see nature and they're not mobile, um, but if you do want to hike, there are many stops to do that as well. There are multiple entrances to the National Park, and this entrance is through the end of the Gatlinburg area. So we're going to take a ride through here and see what we can see. And just a fun fact, the Great Smoky Mountain National Park is the most visited park in the national park system. So far it doesn't feel that way because we are the only ones here on a Saturday. But it's great because there's no traffic. We're here at the Baskins Creek hike. Uh, we're going to just see what it's about. Let's see what the sign says. It's supposed to be a shorter hike. We hiked a lot yesterday and our legs are killing us. So here, Baskins Creek Trail, 0.1 miles. Okay, that's uh, pretty short. Let's see what it's about. What I like about the Smoky Mountains compared to other national parks I've been to is, for some reason, it is the most visited national park in the United States. More so, they say, than Yosemite and Yellowstone, even Glacier National Park, which we did last year. I would say Yellowstone's the most busiest in my opinion. We were stuck in traffic jams all day. It took hours to get to something that would take you know, if there was no traffic, maybe 30 minutes to an hour ended up being three hours. But for the most visited park in uh, the national park system, I like it. To me, that the traffic's not that bad. There's usually always parking most of the time at most major places. Um, when we went to Klingman's Dome, it was fine. And there's people around. It's just that there's no stop and go. You're constantly going with the flow of traffic and it's not hectic and I like it. I'm very relaxed on this national park trip and we're on this trail and nobody's on it. So I like it. Even though we did see some cars parked up front, they're probably more ahead. But when you went to Glacier Yosemite, there's just people everywhere around you. It just gets kind of overwhelming. So let's check this out. It's beautiful. How interesting along this trail. Looks like some quartz stone all in the ground. Some over here too.
Okay, we made it at the top of this Baskins Creek hike. It says it's 0.1 miles, but it just keeps going. So I think that little creek we saw is basically what it was back there. But we have this beautiful view of the Smoky Mountains. Not so smoky while we're here. Thankfully, though, because it's not raining or foggy or anything, it's very beautiful weather up above. You can see there was once a fire, all these burnt trees. But great scenery, cool weather, and it's nice and sunny. Look, a deer. It's right there. This is the Roaring Fork Interpretive Marker 1 Overlook. Very beautiful. Probably zoom in to see what it looks like to my eye. It's pretty big like that. Different on a camera's view. But it's a big drop down if you go down. And we're going to continue on. But this is the beauty of it. You could get out if you want, but I am tired from walking, so we're just looking out the window. And you move on to the next site. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Not sure if you can see, but way back there are some cabins in the woods that are really old. Here's one of the stops. This is Ephraim Bale's cabin. I'm going to take a look. There's a chimney, and it looks like there's two separate entrances, and you see a lot of graffiti on these cabins. Kind of sad. The doorway is very tiny, and so are the ceilings. It's kind of claustrophobic in here. There's the fireplace. And I was told that they weren't short people. The doorways and the ceilings were low so that the heat would be contained in the cabin so they wouldn't freeze to death. Here's another doorway, so why not exit this way? This looks like some kind of storage shed or a stable, not sure what this used to be. And right behind it is a beautiful river or stream, not sure what you would call it, but the sounds are very soothing. Next is the Alfred Reagan place. I'm not really going to walk there. It kind of looks like an, any other old cabin. Uh, but behind us is an old mill that he built. So let's check that out.
This is called a place of a thousand drips. Not sure if you can see, but all the rocks are dripping. It's like a small waterfall. It goes all the way up there. Beautiful. So now we're at a Roaring Fork motor tour and we're going to Cades Cove which is on the other side of the Great Smoky Mountains. You have to go through Gatlinburg to get to that part of the park. So now we're stuck in this Gatlinburg traffic. But this is a very touristy town, kind of nice. It's got different motels and shops and souvenirs. They've got moonshine and all kinds of restaurants here and it's just one strip so the traffic gets pretty nuts here we are in a another part of the Great Smoky Mountains a great river or creek or I'm not sure what you want to call it to fish but unfortunately no fish it's really hard to fish in the national parks because you cannot use treble hooks or live bait or any power bait or anything like that artificial bait it has to be just strictly artificial bait as in plastics or flies or spoons with one hook so we fished here about a half an hour and we're going to continue on to caves cove This is one of the cabins here at Cades Cove. There are many, but this is the easiest and closest one. The other ones are quite a hike. Some are shorter, like 0.1 miles. But if you're not up to walking, this is the Dan Lawson cabin. You can see it right from the parking lot. They have a parking lot with a couple stalls. Let's take a look. but it's broken goes up there All right, so that pretty much sums up the Cades Cove experience. We're gonna head back to the island and get some gifts and try to end our day. We're here at the Old Smoky Moonshine store at Pigeon Forge at the island. We never got to go to the one in Gatlinburg. We're here for some last minute gifts and it is really packed in here. 
Uh, they will give you samples for five dollars. We got different flavors that we cannot get here in Hawaii. We do have some of the flavors. They've got soaked dill pickles, soaked pineapples, and uh, even soaked cherries. They've got awesome flavors that I'm gonna pick up. They've got key lime pie and some strawberry cream, and I'm excited to try those flavors that we cannot get. All right, this is our trout we caught yesterday. We would have ate it yesterday fresh, but we had a reservation at Chesapeake's and didn't expect to catch a big trout. So we're gonna fry this up for dinner. We got some yellow rice over here on the pot and we're gonna have some broccoli as a side. This is our easy dinner, the fish we caught in Gatlinburg, the rainbow trout with some cheesy broccoli and some yellow rice. Smells really good. So that was pretty much day five of our last day in Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and the Gatlinburg area. And I thought today was a pretty busy but wonderful day, lots of driving, not as much as other national parks I've been to. Um, I think it's pretty much a little bit more organized or more compact in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park compared to um, bigger places such as Glacier National Park or Yellowstone or even uh, the Grand Tetons. Uh, everything's kind of closer together. We probably put, I think on our speedometer for the trip A, it was only 246 miles from the time we left from the Knoxville airport, driving around this whole day, five days, even with the National Park. So I think this National Park, if you want to see it, and you're not um, able to in terms of being mobile or um, being in a wheelchair, you know, you have a hard time walk walking. This would be a great national park to go to because you got the two uh, separate loops, Cades Cove and the Roaring Fork, where you don't even have to get out of your car. And for those that do like to be active, there are still hikes on all of these um, loops. But if you still want to see nature and stuff. There's lots of pullouts and you don't even need to get out of your car and you can just see awesome scenery and like we saw a deer, we saw a little bear in the bushes and we actually also saw some turkeys but I didn't have time to pull out my camera because there was a lot of people behind me and you want to be courteous. So um, I enjoyed it. Would it be my favorite national park? Probably not. I would rank it somewhere in the middle. It wasn't terrible or anything, but I think my favorite would be um, Glacier National Park and Yellowstone out of all the ones we went to. Um, and I've been to a few, so those are my top two. And we'll see you again next time in another city.